our republic is being restored. We the people must learn to stay free. How do we govern ourselves? We must learn the ancient ways. Come along on this journey of the Hidalgo Show and learn how to be free. Welcome to Season 3. Hello everybody, welcome to the Hidalgo Show. This is your host, Rick Tejijo Pena. That is my spiritual name. I'm operating in that capacity today. And <clears throat> I want to talk to you today about powering up. That's the conversation we're going to have today. We're going to talk about powering up. To this point, we've given you a background uh, on the why. And we've talked a lot about where it came from, the where. Uh, we've talked about self-governance. And I've shown you how our ancient forefathers self-governed themselves. And if you do a little bit of research, you'll find out that your forefathers from the mainland of Europe and your forefathers from right here in America also had different techniques for governing themselves. <clears throat> but they were very uh, similar to that of the governance that you saw in the biblical days. Why? Because that's where it comes from. It's real simple. Everything is interconnected and interweaved and we have not lost the ability to do any of that. We have the right, always have had the right, and we actually declared it in a Declaration of Independence. We actually declared it in the preamble of the Constitution. We made sure that everybody knew, our, our posterity from now to the end of time, knew that this was the intent of this great experiment that we call the Republic of the United States of America. That is the greatest experiment that has ever uh, un been undergone. And today, we still have the ability to do it. It's just that less and less people are operating in this fashion. More and more people are allowing the state to, uh, to trick them into contracts, into covenants that literally bring them under subjugation to the state. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about powering up today. We're going to talk about statutes. A statute is a law which applies to a creature created by a legislature. So you have a legislative body that creates a creature or license a creature or gives some permission to a creature through an agreement or uh, through a covenant, through whatever means. Okay? They empower a creature to animate. All right? This is called the legislature. The, that's who has the power to do that. Today, in the United States, we have a legislature that operates um, and that empowers that which it created to do the, uh, that which is the will of the legislature. It's really a simple concept, but we've missed it and we don't understand that their statutes that are created every day up on Capitol Hill don't apply to you specifically. Here's why. You're not their creature. You've never been subjugated to them. You are a creature of Yahuwah Elohim. He created you out of his own dust. The dust of the ground. He brought together the molecules and the atoms and he created you. <coughs> so, um... And because he created you, the legislature cannot govern you. They can govern certain actions that you've acquiesced. They can govern uh, certain corporations that you've created to do to do your work, to bring sustenance to your house. They can legislate those things. 
but you have the power to legislate the very same things. And it's just a matter of how you handle your business. We're going to discuss a specific one right now, so I'm going to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Here's an example. Uh, 7 U.S. Code uh, is the Agricultural Code. Under the 7 U.S. Code in Chapter 105, the United States has a agreement with Mexican avocados, Haas. Haas avocados, okay? Uh, Haas avocados are a natural thing. You can't, you know, uh, you, you can't uh, patent an avocado because an avocado is something that it comes from nature. But you can make agreements with corporations, okay? When you have corporations that you've licensed as a legislature you can make agreement with other corporations that hey we're going to grow these particular avocados and this is going to be the terms and conditions as to how they're handled all right that's called consent by agreement all right so you've made these agreements and this is totally within the power of the legislature they can create uh, the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Agriculture can then do business with all these other uh, entities like the Corporation of Mexico or the uh, Haas Avocado Foundation or any other any other um, uh, profit or non-profit that there is out there that was created by a state you can make agreements with the other state okay you have the power to do the very same thing. If you grew an avocado in your backyard, did you did you get a license to grow that avocado? Did you register that variety of avocado with the United States Patent Office? No, you can't. You grew an avocado. The avocado has no agreements, no covenants, no uh, nothing attached to it because it's yours. You grew it. Your labor produced it. All right. God's goodness in the earth and your labor produced that avocado. So now you can take that avocado and you can do as you wish with it. But careful. You need to do it in such a way where you're not interacting with one of their creatures, the U.S. legislature. Or else you're going to be subject in some way to taxation or something because their creature is involved in the transaction. Now, if you had an avocado and some guy down the road grew apples and you came to him and you said, man, I'd sure love to have some of those apples. And he came to you and said, you know, you've got some great looking avocados. Can we make an agreement? Do you know that that cannot be taxed? That cannot be uh, messed with. Not if in the agreement you state it properly. Now here's the, here's the thing. Here's some catches that I want to go over with you. Number one, learn how to make private agreements that are not in the ballpark of foreign legislators. And what I mean by foreign is you are a legislator. You can legislate your own life. <laughs> you can leg legislate your protocols. Okay? The things that you wish, um, you know, uh, for instance, I'm going to do one that's uh, YouTube safe here. If, if I decided that instead of going to the doctor, when I had a particular ailment, I was going to take something that came from nature, okay? And I wrote that down as my protocol. And it, we made an agreement within our, our unit, okay, as the legislature of a particular unit. Let's call it a household, right? 
this is the way we're going to treat this particular issue and here's an agreement this is how we're going to do it and everybody agrees and now uh, this is how this is how we are this is our protocol this is our mandate do you know nobody can mess with that because you are entitled to legislate yourself where you get in the trouble is when you decide part of your legislation is going to be oh if this happens to me I'm going to go here and when you go there you're interacting with a licensed entity you're interacting with somebody who has authority granted to them by a foreign legislature foreign meaning it's not you okay that is telling you what must be done look around you today and look at what's happening in the world think about what's happening in the world it's the interaction that you have with a foreign agent of a legislature of a foreign legislature that is killing you okay that is hurting you that is making it very difficult for you all right it's just that simple yes it's true they have an arsenal of abilities that you probably wish to undertake for instance they can prescribe things and then you can go to a pharmacy and you can pick up that which they prescribed and because of that we are very prone to go into that situation because guess what we're kind of stuck with it right well what if there were natural things that did the same thing as those pharmaceuticals all right and what if we understood that and as a legislature of ourselves of our house okay we decided let's go out and let's find someone with knowledge on how to do this an herbalist uh you know anybody who's not in bed with foreign legislatures okay and we say hey can you help us with this let's make an agreement you can be our provider of information of self-healing and we will in some way uh, make a an exchange we have avocados you know um, we make a little bit of currency through avocados well here's a currency that's not um, that's not backed by anything you know you can maybe use a little Bitcoin or something who knows just giving ideas all right just giving ideas so I want you to think about this I want you to begin to process what I am telling you this is the beginning of your own self-governance this is the beginning as you start to look and and question your interactions on a daily basis you're gonna find out you're interacting with agents of a foreign legislature your legislature has power and authority you cannot begin to understand unless you begin to function in it you are the legislature for your body you are part of the legislature of your household bring your household together and begin to discuss what titles you're going to create okay you don't have to call them titles but I'm trying to give you a perspective based on what we know all right what if your title 7 agriculture said that you make agreement with other private individuals okay uh, who are not licensed who are not beholden to uh, a foreign legislature and you make a private agreement right under your title seven your code seven your protocol seven call it what you want I want you to start to understand you have massive amounts of authority and as you find others like me like you out there in this world you're gonna be absolutely shocked 
at what kind of power you have. And it's untouchable. Why? Because of the clause in the Constitution where they cannot impair the obligation of a contract. That is important. Super important. And it's it's ironclad. It's in the bag. Okay? It's natural law. You've always had the top right. You've always had the power of legislation over your own affairs, over your own body, over your own house. But the power of agreement, the Bible talks about the power of agreement, where two or three are gathered together, right? Two or three are gathered together, agreeing upon something. Think about it. It just told you. Where two or three are gathered together, agreeing upon something. Folks, we've had it in front of us all this time. But we've been compelled by the powers that are, the foreign powers, okay, to subjugate ourselves under their contractual obligations. And ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to do it. We don't have to do it. We can be much better without it. And if we come together as people and defend one another's position to legislate ourselves, can you imagine that world? I want to keep these short and sweet, so I'm going to stop there for today. The title of this particular episode of the Hidalgo Show, Season 3, is Power Up. Now it's your responsibility to power up. It's in your hands. You study, you figure it out, you put it down, and you begin to make agreements like crazy. You get good at making agreements. And no clause in that agreement should ever say, under the, the, under the powers or under the laws of so-and-so state, no, you don't want that. Then you subject yourself to the authorities of that state. We don't want to be subjected to legislative authority for foreign legislators. We want to be we want to be subject to the legislation that we create over our own bodies, over our own affairs that God has regulated in the scripture and given us dominion to do so. Okay? We are to subdue the earth. We have dominion. It is not given to a legislature to have dominion. Not a, not a, a, a state legislature. It is given to us individually to have dominion, to subdue the earth. And we do this one family at a time as we legislate ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Power Up. And as always, I want to remind you, everything we do is all about the blood. Our republic is being restored. We the people must learn to stay free. How do we govern ourselves? We must learn the ancient ways. Come along on this journey of the Hidalgo Show and learn how to be free. Welcome to Season 3.